Today's video is sponsored by Film Convert. What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make your renders look awesome and super realistic using this amazing plugin called Film Convert. By the way, I'm the one who reached out to them so this is all my opinion. Anyways, let's get started. And if you don't have After Effects, it's your lucky day cause today we'll be using DaVinci Resolve, which is free. So let's start by dropping in our footage and head into the color tab. Here you can click the open effects and search for Film Convert. If you just drop it onto the node here, you'll get all these settings. So if you don't know anything about Film Convert, it's basically a plugin all about emulating the classic film look. So here you can put in what camera you're recording with, but because our renders are all made in the computer, we'll just type in the default. Now we can start tweaking the camera settings using the exposure, temperature and tint to get the desired look we want. I brought down the temperature and tint to get that cold and cyberpunk feel. Now let's get into the juicy part of Film Convert. Here you can actually pick and choose what specific film stock you want to replicate. Now it will generate the right colors and grain for that exact role. Down here you can adjust the strength and contrast for that effect. You can even select the size of the film stock from 8mm to cinematic super 35. That's pretty darn cool. And if you're not happy with the grain you can tweak it down here. Now we're done and we can actually export this as a cube if you want and use it on our future project. You can even sell it and make big cash. Yeah, let's uh, let's get on with the video. Anyways, here's the before and after, and it's uh, pretty darn good. Let's do another one. So film convert, just apply it, do the basic exposure stuff, and love that grain. So I'm just gonna cycle through these and see if I can find the find the best one. So I think we got black and white. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to choose the Kodak one because it's used in the movies. I think I'm just gonna crunch the saturation using 16 millimeter film size. Man, that green is looking crispy. You can also tweak the shadows, midtones, and highlights, but I don't really want though, cause I'm pretty happy with this. I guess that's it guys, so if you'd like to download Film Convert, I'll link it down below. Also, big thanks to all my lovely patrons. It's been real crazy over the year with new stuff dropping almost every day now, so if you'd like to get access to in-depth tutorials, assets, and just a bunch of great content, you can join using the link down below. And yeah, that's all guys. Peace out.